In the previous video we looked at a very simple circuit comprising of a DC voltage source and a resistor. In this video we will look at circuits containing again a single voltage source but also resistors either in series or parallel. Let's maximize the circuit schematic window. In order to add a second resistor in parallel with R1 we can simply click on R1 press Ctrl C to copy it and then Ctrl V to create a replica. We can then place this resistor on the schematic by simply left clicking. We can then use the wiring tool to connect it in parallel with R1. What will be the current through each of the resistors now? Will it be the same? Will it be double? Will it be half? Well, let's simulate and see what happens. Firstly, the voltage source is ideal and hence the voltage across it will always stay at one volt no matter what we connect to it. Secondly, Ohm's law always applies so if each resistor has one volt across it and the two resistors are identical, then they must have the same current going through them. Each of the resistors will therefore have a current of one amp through it. This means, however, that the voltage source will have to supply twice as much current as in the previous case. This is another feature of ideal voltage sources. They will supply as much current as required by the elements connected to them in order to maintain the nominal value of their voltage. If I right click on R2 and then select Toggle Enable and Simulate, then we are back to where we started. You can see that the voltage source now is supplying 1 amp, but if I re-enable R2 and simulate again, the voltage source has to supply 2 amps. Now let's click on R1 again, press Ctrl C to copy it, and then delete both R1 and R2, so we can create a different circuit configuration. Let's press Ctrl V to paste the resistor on the schematic, right click to rotate it, and then place it on the schematic like so. Then press Ctrl V again and place a second resistor in series with the first one. Then connect everything together. There are bits of the schematic that we can't see right now and what we can do to visualize the entire schematic is to simply go on the toolbar here and select View All. Now let's simulate. The overall current in the circuit is determined using Ohm's law. It will be the voltage of the voltage source divided by the sum of all resistances in the loop. So it will be 1 volt divided by 2 ohms, which gives us 0.5 amps. Also note that we have created a potential divider, which is giving us a fraction of the voltage coming from the source, in this case 1 half, at the point where R1 is connected to R2. If we change the value of R2 to 3 ohms, for instance, and then simulate it, we can see that the overall current now will be 1 volt divided by 4 ohms, so 0.25 amps, and also we can see that the voltage fraction that we get at the point where R1 connects to R2 is different and it's 0.75 volts. Remember that for a voltage divider the voltage at the point where R1 connects to R2 will be equal to the value of the voltage source times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. This is a very important formula, one that you will find very useful in solving your circuit analysis problems.